Lanterns are my favorite light source. And then we got soul lanterns. Today I'm going to show you how to craft and use lanterns and soul lanterns. So first of all, let's look at crafting. Taking a look at the lantern, first you need a torch, which you can of course make with either coal or charcoal. Then you place the torch in the middle and put a ring of iron nuggets around. And there's our lantern. Now, as for a soul lantern, you first need to make a soul torch. Now, of course, you can use either coal or charcoal again. And soul sand or soul soil. And there's our soul torch. Again, it's exactly the same as the regular lantern. There we go. Regular lanterns will generate naturally in snowy villages and in bastion remnants. Soul lanterns, on the other hand, can be found spawning naturally in an ancient city. It makes a lot more sense to trade with librarians for lanterns. In Java Edition, there's a 66.7% chance that a librarian will have a lantern trade. It's 50% chance in Bedrock. Of course, a lantern is a light source. A regular lantern gives off a light level of 15, while a soul lantern gives off a light level of 10. Now, you can place them on any surface as long as it's not uh, half a block up. So, for example, you can't place one on a trapdoor. It doesn't work. Not like this. But if a trapdoor is at a level like this, you do have to sneak and then you can place it. Now, if it's up like this, there's no way you can hang it. Actually, what happened to us? I placed it right there. So what you want to do is have some space, at least uh, some space underneath like this. And now, let's stand right here. You can place it underneath like that. So you can place it underneath blocks so they hang, but they work with chains very well. So I'll put a chain there and lantern there, and it works seamlessly. There are two ways you can break lanterns. One of them is, of course, by using a pickaxe, like that. If you don't use a pickaxe, you'll return nothing. So don't want to do that. Another way is to break the block that it's sitting on top of or underneath. So for example, let's break this chain. And there we go. We can retrieve the lantern. Lanterns have a couple of interesting properties. So like any other light source, a lantern will start to melt snow and ice around it. It'll just take a little while. And there we go. So this is starting to melt. Another interesting property is that piglins do not like soul lanterns. They will run away, as you can see. This is perfect if you want to build a base in the nether and keep piglins away. So, did you know that last fact? What kind of builds do you like to use lanterns in? Let me know in the comments below. Check out the playlist on the right for more easy Minecraft tutorials. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.